Hey all here OS Reviews, in this video we're taking a quick look at a mood lamp slash night light that is supposedly inspired by glaciers near the North Pole, has a fairly interesting design going on, including the bottom portion which is the glacier that actually illuminates, and it has a few other functionality aside from acting as a LED lamp. They're calling it an aroma diffuser stone, and you can drop some essential oils on top and it will evaporate the scent into your room. It also has a speaker that can play back some soothing nature sounds to help you relax or fall asleep. All wrapped in a pretty elegant and unique presentation. Pricing-wise, this one is pretty affordable, hovering around 25 to 35 bucks, depending on when it's on sale. And one thing I will say though is it doesn't have a built-in Bluetooth speaker functionality, so you can't really use it to listen to your own music by connecting it to your phone or computer. I think that would have been another cool feature to consider, although it probably would have increased the price a little bit. I think it still would have made it even more functional. I can also imagine this being sold in some gift stores, maybe in locations like Iceland or even maybe Swiss in the Alps, things like that. But again, just fits the mood if you're going for something a little bit more unique looking as a lamp. And then on the inside, of course, we have just the device itself. And we also get a power adapter, which is using a standard USB Type-C cable. And yes, there is a built-in battery on here, so you can use it when detached from the wall or a power bank or you can use it while plugged in continuously as well. And there's just kind of a quick user guide just documenting some of the various parts. So again, presented pretty well for a low cost lamp. And a closer look at the actual night light itself, the top, which is the diffuser stone, actually has a good heft to it, surprisingly because it is just a piece of rock and it's not made out of plastic, for example. It's actually quite cool to the touch, has quite a few intricate details popped on top. It does give us a pretty convincing mountaintop view. Then the bottom portion is made out of an ABS plastic, which is this faint blue color. The stone can also be removed, although this portion can't be further detached. There is no actual water down below here. It just gives you the illusion of so. One thing I will say, though, is that the glacier portion isn't dramatically larger compared to the mountaintop. And on the very back here is where we have all the various controls, including the loudspeaker, the Type-C port for charging, there's a button here for activating the nature sounds, and interestingly enough, they have a Bluetooth logo, but again, this particular model, at least in front of us, doesn't have a real Bluetooth chip. But there's the possibility of perhaps a more premium model with that functionality on board, that would be nice. There's also a dedicated power key as well, as so you can tap on this key for a few times to cycle through the brightness control for the glacier nightlight part, as well as a breathing mode as well. And that's more or less it. There's no other soft touch feet at the bottom just to give you more of that transparent look to the bottom portion. And so now just popping it onto life just by tapping on the power key there once, I will say that surprisingly it is quite bright for just a mood lamp. I wouldn't say it's necessarily good enough as a desk lamp though for things like reading purposes, but for things like sleeping as well as just illuminating something if you're watching TV, it can definitely serve that purpose quite well. And here's what it looks like in a slightly more darkened environment. It becomes even more dramatic. Some of the detail work in the molding of the iceberg also looks pretty convincing in all the different directions. You're able to still see through it. Now let's also pop the stone here on top again, and that is kind of the completed look. We also dim the last remaining light in the room. With everything completely darkened, it becomes the most dramatic, although the top mountain portion also becomes a little harder to make out. Just the bottom glacier can be seen. But there we have it. Still is, I think, quite cool from a design perspective. Let's also trigger through some of the other effects now. So if we tap on here once, you can tell there is a faint white LED that tells you what mode it's on. So this one is going to be more of a kind of breathing effect. It will softly transition between brighter as well as dimmer. As you can tell, they're kind of blinking in the distance. And then the third mode is technically the dimmest in terms of the brightness level, but I wouldn't say there's a huge difference, to be completely honest, between the levels 1 and also 3, which again is just slightly dimmer there. But the color has a small shift, uh, becomes just a little bit more white in this particular mode compared to the first one, which is a little bit more blue, as you can tell. So those are the slight differences uh, that are built on board. So possibly incorporating an even dimmer minimum brightness mode would have been nice to find, but overall it still is functional enough. Let's also cycle through some of the nature sounds next. So this one here is simulating crickets there in the background, and one thing I will say is that there is no additional volume slider on here, so you can't really change it higher or lower, it's at this one level. This one here is water flowing, Pretty similar to other white noise 
sound machines that we've seen in the past, which are typically found in some alarm clocks. Again, that's a feature you won't find on this particular model, but works well enough, although the sounds are technically looping, just built directly into the system's memory. Simple, but does the job. Third one here is more of a mist of oceans that are kind of crashing against the tide near a beach. Next one here is more of a soft rain that is falling. Also quite relaxing. And then once more here is kind of a fan noise that is humming like an engine of a plane, for example, in the background. And then once again to turn it completely off. Similarly, you can also cycle through again the lighting effects and then turn the entire thing off as well. So it is relatively easy to control, but again, that's all the functions that we have. Out of all the built-in presets though, I would say the kind of rippling water sound as well as just the static light being turned on, I think is the most convincing. It almost feels like I am near this environment where I can feel and hear some of the water in the background, giving you some of that multi-sensory experience of just calming down. Let's also do a quick example of what the aromatherapy part is like. Again, it's not quite as advanced here as some electronic aroma diffusers, which will create mist around you. In this particular example, a bit of uh, tea essential oil. Let's pop on a little bit of that onto the top of the mountain. You'll see it start to drip down a little bit. And so the stone here has a slightly more porous texture going on compared to just a natural rock that you find outside your house, for example. And it does seem to somewhat uh, help the scent maybe evaporate around the room a little bit more consistently, but again, not quite as effective as a real mist uh, or kind of electronic humidifier aromatherapy device that we have seen in the past, but still kind of a neat additional functionality. It takes advantage of the design, I suppose. So that is more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of this very interesting glacier bedside nightlight. Even though, functionally speaking, there's nothing new here, it does work as a fairly convincing nightlight that has, again, a slightly more stylish appearance going on, combined with some of the nature sound effects, I think is a interesting idea at a relatively affordable price. So if you like the way that it looks, this actually can be a pretty interesting decor item, a desk gadget, conversation starter, that in this particular instance doesn't really break the bank. Of course, some additional features that we talked about, like built-in Bluetooth, I think could make it even more versatile, but overall, not bad for a simple nightlight. You can learn more details if interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Glacier Bedside Nightlight.